let's talk about the three rules of time travel. Awesome. In finance. Rule number one. When comparing and combining amounts of money, it only makes sense to do it at one point in time. For instance, if I told you I have a dollar now and I'm going to get a dollar in a year, that doesn't mean I'm worth two dollars because that dollar I have now can be invested. And in that year, I can make interest on it and I'll be worth more than two dollars. That's not what I'm going to do, but I could. You know what I'm saying? By the way, these aren't props. This is my real money. Netflix. Rule number two, moving cash flows forward in time, you must compound it because that cash earns interest and that interest earns interest on that interest. And that interest on interest is called compound interest. You interested yet? How about now? Let's say we have a cash flow C in interest rate R and we want to know the value of that cash flow after N periods. The future value of that cash flow is equal to C times one plus R to the N. Let's say I invest this dollar because it's all I have. If the interest rate is 10%, after one year, the value will be 1 times 1 plus 0.1 to the 1th power, which is equal to 1 times 1.1, which is $1.10. That'll be the value of this in a year. Now, what if we want to know the value in two years? Well, we have to compound again. So we multiply our result, $1.10, by 1 plus 0.1 to the first power, which is 1.1 times 1.1, which means in two years, it'll be worth $1.21. Now, let's prove that our formula checks out. If we just plug in those numbers, we want to know the future value after two periods. That will be 1 times 1 plus 0.1 to the second power, which is 1.1 squared, which is 1.21 times 1, which is $1.21. Our theory checks out. Thank you. Good night. What about rule three? Right. Rule three. Uh, oh, right. Rule three. Moving cash flows backward in time, we must discount them because we have to discount the interest that we compounded. And who doesn't love a discount? The formula for the present value of a cash flow C received n periods from now at an interest rate R is C divided by 1 plus R to the nth power. For example, let's say I'll be receiving $1 two years from now because that's all my parents allowed me in their will. The interest rate is 10% and I want to know the present value of this cash flow. To do this, we'd put 1 divided by 1 plus 0.1 squared, which is 1 divided by 1.21, which is about 83 cents. Thanks, Mom. Now that you understand the rules of time travel, take your money on an adventure. Your money. You, on the other hand, you're not going anywhere.